Welcome back, folks. I'm IC. Glad to have you join me today. While working on my video dissecting slots available, another video in the recommended section caught my attention. It was uploaded by a channel called One Heaven. It was simply titled No, and combined with the bright green hills of a classic Minecraft world, I immediately assumed it must be a new Minecraft ARG. And if it's managed to accrue that many views, I mean, holy cow, I must be missing out. Let's take a look. Yeah, so... I was wrong. One may even claim I had been fooled. All the videos on this channel are the same. A C418 track plays over a bunch of nostalgic looking Minecraft images, with the song itself often slowed down for that extra effect. They're essentially Minecraft versions of those liminal spaces you've seen in your dream type videos. Oh, except none of the images are credited. And sometimes they'll even repeat in the same video because hey, it's just that hard to take your own screenshots. Okay, you get the point. So it's a repository of stolen Minecraft screenshots, given vague titles to look all mysterious. Why talk about it? Well, I discovered this channel around May of 2023. Yes, it's better to say last year, but I don't like dating my videos. I had tried writing this into a full-fledged video, but it didn't work. There's not enough here. So I left it to gather dust. Not abandoned, but a low chance of being covered. As of now, one haven't stopped uploading around seven months ago. So let's change then. Well, recently, YouTube recommended another video to me. It's titled Hopelessness. And with the same vague thumbnail, I found it very reminiscent of one heaven. But unlike that channel, it looks like there could actually be something here. And yeah, this similarity was all I needed for an excuse to rant about him. This video was uploaded by a channel with one of the worst usernames I've ever seen. I can move past it, but for now I'll refer to whoever is behind it as Double M. I've laughed at Gmod and Minecraft AGs for having uncreative names, but I don't know. Perhaps we'll get a better name later. Anyways, enough long-winded introductions. Let's take a look at this channel, hopeful that there's actually something here, and just maybe, we can solve the mystery of a new Minecraft ARG. The channel was created on November 27th, 2020, much like the topic of my last video, which, hey go watch it, this isn't relevant. In fact, there are a lot of things on this channel which are quite literally not canon. This along with the more personal usage of the community tab, it's clear this channel wasn't solely made for this ARG. Thankfully everything I want to look at today is organized in playlists, but it's kind of disappointing there's no larger immersion going on. Obviously it's not necessary, but it blurs the purpose of what people clicked on the channel for. Regardless, let's take a look at the first video. My World in Minecraft Beta 1.201. I was going to question the necessity of specifying beta 1.201, but no, this abominable video quality instantly shut me up. Double M shows off his Minecraft world, or at least, the inside of his house in the start to a tunnel. Around one minute in, he moves to look at a very specific corner before tabbing out, 
because that's totally a natural thing to do. Shortly after his mouse moves off screen, the start of a website URL briefly appears. The quality of the text juxtaposed with the gameplay not drawing at all. Within cut, I mean return to the game. Only, there's now a tunnel that wasn't there before. Upon looking in it, a cave sound plays, causing Double M to freak out before the video ends. The description gives us a date for when this occurred. January 17th, 2011. 1.201 was just released three days prior. It wasn't that special apart from adding back slimes to some bug fixes. Or at least that's what we're told. Minecraft Caves Beta 1.201. Two days later, Double M returns to recording his Minecraft world. It's unclear if he had to take a break following what happened, but whatever caused it isn't done messing with him. Throughout the video, we can hear distant footsteps or mining sounds. However, Double M doesn't notice until at the very end, where in a panic, he blocks off the entrance to the tunnel he's in before backing away. Strange building of Minecraft Beta 1.201. It seems like Double M wanted a fresh start, that by making a new survival world, he'd be left alone. Upon exiting his house, he spots a bunch of cobblestone on the ground, resembling what happens when a PvP tryhard is on low health. Curious, he follows the trail, coming across a strange structure before the video ends. The description claims this was recorded on January 24th, and while the quality is too horrendous to see what version he's playing, the title claims it's still 1.201, but this shouldn't be the case, as Beta 1.202 would have been the most recent version. But considering the quality, perhaps the uploader just couldn't tell looking back. Inside. Double M returns to the structure, giving zero explanation for why he can suddenly see things. He walks through the entryway, but instead of reaching the other side, he's suddenly transported into a long cobblestone room, another portal sound playing as though he changed dimensions. Oh, and upon checking his inventory, Double M's player model doesn't exist. I almost forgot to say that. This video was taken on January 25th, the day after the events of the previous video. The description continues with a bunch of... Oh god. Really? We're really doing this now? Grow up!
So, by shoving the binary through a text converter, we get garbage. This doesn't decode to anything. I even tried converting to decimal and hexadecimal because I'm apparently too generous, but the results were so large they nearly broke the websites. So congratulations, your spamming of zeros to ones wasted my time. Here's the participation award. A new world. We start off with a slideshow of screenshots, a nice shutter sound effect playing with each one, but when cutting to the sixth image, the sound is lower pitched. How spooky. A few seconds later, a strange ambience fades in and out, followed by a cave sound and some text. Where is it from? What is it? It can delete player worlds. This is not good. Ignoring the questionable grammar choices, who is writing this? What are they referring to, and how do they know this? We're left to dwell on these questions, as we abruptly cut to Dublin showing off another house he made. The cobble lining the walls is an odd choice but it's probably to block off the windows. Why? Who knows? But it's clearly recent seeing as the chest prevents him from sealing off the last block. Anyways, he goes to show off his mind, only to grow paranoid to leave upon hearing glitch and static sounds. The description claims the recording date is unknown, followed by more nonsensical binary. The next video, Inside 2, also happens to be the second of a subset of videos within the series.
Overcoming his fear of the sun, Double M has uncovered the windows. He climbs into the basement, containing his crops in another mine shaft. He opens the door to head down, but changes his mind upon hearing glitch sounds again. Instead, he goes outside and approaches another wooden building, revealing that it contains another one of the structures, unless the one from earlier somehow moved. He returns to the combo dimension and heads down the hall. Reaching the end, he turns left to gaze into a small room. Inside lies the strange altar or grave-like structure, with a sign reading Unverios 2003. This looks like a username, yet a Minecraft account doesn't exist with it. Heading down the opposite hall, Double M finds another structure, only this one takes him back out. However, when he returns to the wood building, the entryway is now gone. Recording date February 11th, 2011. He's gone. If this he refers to Unverios, then what happened to him? What's going on with my Minecraft? Apart from the screenshots and strange text we've seen, this acts as a summary for everything we know so far. However, right before the video ends, more text flashes on screen. Decoding via Caesar cipher, we get, It seems to me that I saw something that ordinary players should not see. If these videos are supposedly being uploaded by a guy who's having problems with Minecraft, what is the point of hiding this message? And again, there's the issue with the binary. This all results in our narrative being unreliable, yet no reason is provided for why. Whose perspective are we witnessing here? The next video was taken on April 7th of 2011, Inside 3. Double M enters another portal to the Cobble Dimension, getting greeted by a new layout. He heads into the first room, bizarrely labeled Second Quarter. However, the entrance, sorry, entrance, is blocked off with bedrock. The next room turns out to be a pathway in the open air. On the other side, he finds another portal. Seeing how it resembles the exit he took in Inside 2, it's probably his way out, but instead of doing that, he turns around. The remaining four rooms contain more altars. The first is unlit, with a bunch of question marks in place of a username. The next two belong to Ramble423 and Vervarm2005. Yet the last one is much further away, impossible to read at this distance. Vervarm doesn't exist, but Rambo423 does. Now I'm not sure how accurate this is, but NameMC says their skin was created on December 3rd, 2023. Seeing as this video was posted on October 30th, some guy really went out of their way to spend 30 bucks for a username in this ARG. Anyways, Double M enters the room labeled Getting Started, flicking a lever which causes the game to glitch out as the video ends. The next title decodes to, I found this video in my Minecraft files.
It seems we're being introduced to a new perspective here, one which plays a version with the hunger bar and no inventory. The science of the wall is supposedly from Mojang, implying whoever this is works at their behest. They've been struggling to delete the account of a player called Manby348, that apparently they had been too persistent. A lever is flicked to delete one of Manby's worlds as a warning shot. They describe it as a final chance, but that's not what it is. Either way, the science go on to claim this player is the last one aware of this place. So, is the uploader Manby348? That's probably the case considering it was found on his computer. Yet, his Minecraft account doesn't exist. Inside 4. This is the laziest attempt at faking a survival world I've ever seen. You've mined this many resources, yet have no damage on any tools. Not to mention you've got zero food and XP levels. Someone has been running my account all this time. Yeah, it's called you, in creative. He's now playing a newer yet still old version of Minecraft. From the combat, it's 1.8.9 at the latest, having been released in December of 2015. Try not to feel old challenge, impossible. He finds a portal, but it's blocked off. After more wandering, he sees a block of bedrock with a lever on top and by spamming it like an old person hits a TV in hopes of getting better reception, it eventually works. He comes across the area called Second Quarter again, but it's still closed. We're shown a new Third Quarter, but at least to the same result. He then finds the room with an exit portal behind some glass, only instead of turning it off or on, he breaks the glass, and an alarm starts, followed by footsteps of someone opening the door behind him. Inside 4, Part 2. Manby runs down a hallway, hopefully having tried the exit portal first, but there's no way of knowing since we don't get to see that. In some crazy coincidence, he winds up in the deletion room for his own account. On the opposite end of the room, there's a small area in the corner we hadn't seen before. Inside it contains the option to delete his account. Justifiably horrified, he quits the game. Inside 4, Part 3.
We return after Mamby presumably gathers himself. He leaves the control room, completely forgetting he got chased in there, apparently. Regardless, he reaches the exit portal without issue. The glass is still broken, but the alarm stopped blaring. He walks through the portal, but instead of returning to his fake survival world, the screen glitches out and the video ends. A commenter points out what looks like text as this occurs. However, I think it's just pareidolia caused by the glitch effect. I can't log into Minecraft anymore. What happened to there? Considering we saw a level for deleting his account, I think we can tell what happened to there. The next title is just five question marks. The other perspective from several videos ago returns. I'm guessing this is what happened right after Manby left the control room. How the heck it managed to get in there, who knows. It flicks the lever. Deleting Manby's account. Goodbye. So, this was the finale to part 1, at least according to this playlist with that exact name. But the ARG isn't over. There are still 13 videos left. And considering the creator is currently working on his second one, I'll leave you to check it out for yourself. And hey, if we're seemingly at this intermission point, I'd like to take this opportunity and ask you to subscribe. I normally save this for the end, or just joking around, but I'd really appreciate it. I don't upload often, but I try to make each video special, something I myself could rewatch whenever I pleased. So if you find this to be worth your time, thank you. Anyways, let's continue. Strange Block. According to the description, a player called Rampler423 stumbles across a mysterious block in their survival world. Going off how similar this name is to Ramble423, this could be the same person. Exploring the area, they discover a long 2x2 hole in the side of a cliff. Inside, they find a room with a strange gold and iron portal. It would have been a real chad move to just steal the resources and leave, but instead they stare at an area blocked off by bedrock. Suddenly freaking out as if for a sound cue, yet we hear nothing. It's a decent start. Much better than part 1's at least. However, there's an issue with the description. Up until now, the date format used has been day, month, year. This format is common in most parts of the world which aren't the US. Applying it to the description for this video, we get May 9th of 2011. The earliest Minecraft version to have the hunger bar was Beta 1.8, released on September 14th. In other words, this date makes no logical sense when applying it to this video. And the normal, I mean, other option, September 5th, also doesn't work. 
Perhaps this is why there's a black rectangle before the Minecraft version usually appears. Beta Testo 1. Recording date October 5th, 2010? It honestly sounds like you're trolling at this point, so there's a creative mode play in a room with strange walls, I guess. Inside 5. Rampler returns to their house, only to find it's been griefed with tons of these mysterious blocks. There's also a new mysterious portal outside their home, made from other mysterious blocks. After some good hits with the sword, they step inside, transporting him to another dimension. Only, this one's not made of cobblestone. Walking down the hallway, they find a book with a bunch of numbers in it. I tried decoding the title and who wrote it, but got gibberish, and I'd rather get smited by Zeus than copy down all three pages of it. However, as Rampler flips through the pages, you can barely hear the sounds of a mouse clicking, meaning their mic is on. The second book is a report, and right on the first page, we get more inconsistency. We could assume Vervarm2005 was already gone by this point, but Ramble423 was clearly the original username of the player who is our current perspective. How could you make this mistake? You made the series! On page 2 it's revealed that sometime during Minecraft's development, there was an extra dimension Mojang has stopped working on. Between then and whenever this report was made, someone offered to use said dimension for the purpose of player reports. Although who this is, we still don't know. Now, I want to put this lightly. Reports 3 and 4 are where I start to question the creator behind this channel. I can make yet another joke about how there was mistyped as Therab, but this writing, it's childish. When I point out mistakes and inconsistencies, I do it to be constructive and for entertainment purposes. I don't do it to make jabs or poke fun at someone's work, and I certainly do not condone the harassment of creators. Please keep this in mind as we continue. Page 3 claims there's only three dimensions, which I guess means there's six in total, with the overall nether and end on Minecraft's client side, and measuring developers, stone, and the nonsense dimension on Mojang's side. Even though measuring developers is also a nonsense statement. Page 4 is the most recent report, declaring that they've let virus number 78,936 into Rampler's world. This explains what happened to their house, but not why or what they could have done to deserve it. Removed.
Rampler continues exploring this dimension, somehow having lost all their items in the process. They come across an iron door, the other side resembling that of a padded cell. Naively, they head in. An alarm goes off as the door locks behind them and the video ends. But before it do that, we get another code. Deciphering it from Base64, we get Rampler423 removed. You really stepped in that one, if I'm honest. The next title decodes to, this is just an attempt to get rid of him. Hello everyone. I decided to make some ARGs on this channel. There will be three or four ARGs in total. Of course they will all be different. Maybe even very long, I don't know yet. The first ARG came to its conclusion, although not everything was solved. In general, that's all I wanted to say. But he still can't get rid of one. From what all this time prevented him from doing ARG, that's not what he wanted. Initially he wanted to make an ARG about switching and not about what he has now. I just forced him to do it. He got out as best he could, pretended that everything was as it should be. He won't be able to do this for a long time. Yeah, so I'm gonna pretend this video doesn't exist. Okay, midway through recording I see here, I wrote a whole thing about this video, but I'm gonna come back to it in a moment. We're skipping it for now. Trying to get an answer. At 48 seconds I found Entity right side. That's a cow. With no explanation there's now a player in Minecraft Alpha. They place a sign asking why the gods are messing with him. That's it. That's the video. But there's more Base64 in the description. He does what he wants. Makes the plot the way he wants. I'm sick of it. <sighs> okay. We're really going in this direction now? Fine. So I guess Man Beast becomes self-aware now, and is leaving these cryptic messages. Deleting a Minecraft account doesn't delete the person behind it. So now he's here to rage against the creator. Received. The player changes their fog distance, before heading downstairs to check the sign they placed. The response is actually a double cipher, first from base 64 and then from base 32. Because I have to. Well that was an insightful and worthwhile use of 55 seconds. Considering both Manby and Rampler had their accounts deleted, we've yet to learn who's recording these. We also get more of the former's ramblings in the description. He's still doing it. I can't get rid of him. Who is he? He said he's doing it because he has to, but why should he do it? Everything is out of control.
Guide us Minecraft Let's Play. Gets punished by the Overlord, burning their house down. I told you, you shouldn't have broken that side and entered the castle. Manby claims he warned the player in this video, but initially, that's not what I wrote here. Somehow when watching the video where the creator breaks the fourth wall, I hadn't realized that this creator character would have been Manby. I hope you see where I'm coming from considering this thing's all over the place, but looking back on the description from Inside 4 Part 3, this should have registered with me. That said, let's revisit the video that breaks immersion. Manby explains how he wants to make ARGs on this channel, even though this doesn't fit what an ARG is by definition. He says he wants to make three or four, and that the first one's done already. However, someone else hijacks the video, essentially saying he's tampered with the story. That Manby's in denial, acting like everything's been going as he wanted. Despite really not liking how this was executed, I kind of like the idea. Having the supposed creator of an ARG, revealing themselves to the audience and claiming the series is over, when in actuality it's spiraling out of control, in theory, it could work. Instead, I'm over here course correcting my script midway through recording it. Part of that's on me because I forgot Manby has spoken in descriptions before. But then how do we explain Rampler and their story? Did their videos just appear on Manby's hard drive? The script. The Overlord forces the player to play Minecraft again, directing their every move. At the end we get another glimpse at their inventory, the player model missing tying back to Manby from the first Inside video. Answer. Hello everyone. Today I will tell you about the initial scenario of my ARG. Initially, it was supposed to be a regular ARG about adventures. ARG was shot not only by me, but also by my friend who just helped me with the filming. But one day we quarreled over the ARG. We didn't talk anymore, and I continued to make ARG. And after four years he wrote to me. He said he knew where I lived and always saw where I was and where I was going. He's out of his mind. He wants me to do the ARG as he wants. Now he's gone away for a few weeks somewhere. 
I said I was going to make a new video. He sent me a script for a new video, but I didn't follow it. He also has access to my data. At any moment, he can take and delete all the files from my computer. Mandy posts another update video. But to claim he'd been working on this ARG for four years is ridiculous. A friend threatening he knows where he lives is an interesting direction to take this. But to then follow it up with, He has access to my data. He can delete it at any moment. Tell me, which is worse? A guy threatening to physically harm you, or your poor computer? My opinion? Gee, maybe I should just stop using it. However, there's an unlisted video in the description. Perhaps Manby was intentionally misleading us. Answer 2. I told my friend that I was being followed. He said he believed me because he had come across it himself. We figured out how to save myself. Yeah, this only further confuses things. Are you and your friend against each other or working together now? Because if I stopped working with someone for four whole years, then out of nowhere they threatened me, I wouldn't try befriending them again. And now, it's time for this channel's most popular video by far, Hopelessness. When I asked him for help, he agreed. But then he told me to stop joking. No one takes these words seriously. No one believes me. I have to solve this problem myself. So we're back in the Minecraft version this all started in, when all of a sudden the Overlord or Mambi's friend hijacks the world, degrading him like all good friends do, before dumping him onto a small bedrock island covered in cobblestone portals. Hard for me to believe this friend wrote code for Mojang when he acts like an annoying brat. Hopelessness 2. Man, I'm so hopeless I invented hopelessness too. This is the second to last video of Manby's, or really Double M's, first ARG. But this presentation just feels stubborn. Seeing as the friend in control just wants him to leave, I guess that's the point? But this isn't a satisfactory ending. A comment I saw puts it best. This isn't an ARG. It's bullying. Regardless, here we are. The final video. Hello everyone. He let me go. After all, he helped me escape. And a few days later he was detained by police. I'm free now. No more strange buildings in my world and no more orders in my direction. Now Jacob doesn't control me anymore. I'm free now.
It's so strange to go into the world and not see some strange things. Well, looks as though there's a happyish ending after all. It makes no sense, but you've noticed that already. So, despite Manby's friend hating his guts, he, or Jacob as we're finally given a name, in the final video of the series, decides to help him escape and or fix his computer. Apparently having a change of heart, despite that literally never occurring other than Manby just claiming it did. But who cares, Jacob's been arrested. Story's over. Or is it? Yes it is. So, I guess it's time for my summary of what this was all about. It starts with two friends wanting to make an ARG together. Sadly, arguments start breaking out over the direction they want to take it, resulting in Jacob leaving the project, but not after injecting malware under his friend Manby's computer, allowing to troll and spy on him in Minecraft for the next four years. Manby continues the story, but Jacob constantly tampers with it behind the scenes. Manby knows things aren't going as planned, but pretends it's fine. Eventually, Jacob has enough and manages to take direct control, forcing the ARG to play out as he wants, but Manby refuses to let the slide, disobeying and rejecting Jacob's scripts. Threats and insults are thrown, but by some miracle, Manby manages to get through the thick skull of his ex-friend, convincing him to fix his game, along with his whole computer properly. The end. So how does the Minecraft story tie into any of this? What can be ascertained is the story through all this tampering and drama. In October of 2010, someone at Mojang starts working on a new Minecraft dimension. For one reason or another, it got abandoned. Later on, another developer or more likely third party contacted them, getting permission to utilize the dimension for their own plans. Hopefully unbeknownst to Mojang, this individual sought to grief and delete the accounts of Minecraft players but it's never explained why they're doing it or justification for the targets were shown, one of whom being Manby, who proves themselves to be quite disruptive to the plan, managing to break into the dimension, but ultimately meeting the same fate of account deletion, and I refuse to even touch Rampart's perspective. Pushing this text wall aside, the story is directionless, and part of that seems to be the point, but it just doesn't work for me. At the end of the day, anything I say is just ramblings and theory. To the creator of this project, I'll say this. Do better. I know you can. You have a talent at video editing, but you need to work on your stories. Write them down beforehand, plot them out, something. So many of the mistakes I pointed out could have easily been avoided had you done so. Additionally, this isn't an ARG. An ARG requires input from the audience to help guide a story to its conclusion. What you've made is an unfiction web series. Unfiction meaning you're telling a fictional story under the guise that it's real. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, and the same goes for Double M. Considering he's just started his next project, Now's the time for you to get ahead of it. With all that said, see ya.